All right, I'm going to show you a quick video of our boat we've got for sale here. It's a 1997 Maxim 2700 SCR. My dad's owned this boat for about 10 years, bought it in 2002. Uh, never been stored in water. It's always been kept on dry land. The hull is in excellent shape. As you can see there, it's got a nice easy load trailer underneath it. Extremely clean. I mean, this boat is very, very, very clean. Walk around it, I'll show you what it looks like. Last time it was in the water was summer of 2010. The You can see the sticker there expired last year. Give you a good view of the, the side here. And I think I mentioned in the description on eBay, the tires have a lot of tread, but they are dry rotted and they'll need to be replaced. I would think they'd be good for a, a short trip, but I wouldn't want to trailer this boat uh, too far. Walk around here and show you the back. There's the outdrive. Propeller in pretty nice shape. Got a couple of small nicks, nothing major. Mostly just missing paint. Uh, that propeller is in pretty nice shape. Show you the back of the boat here and then we'll climb up on it. There's the swim ladder under here. Take my shoes off. And here we are. Here's the uh, rear seating area. You can comfortably seat four here for sure. You could probably squeeze in six if you wanted to. That table is removable. We didn't use it that often, but um, comes in and out pretty easy. You guys have a door right here that locks. And uh, look at the radar arch right here and the top. That top is in very, very nice shape. It was hardly ever used. It's really, really nice. Uh, lights up there in the radar arch, one on each side. And I also mentioned in the description, you'll notice all of the trim, all the seats are in really, really nice shape. It's been kept very, very clean. But these, uh, these covers that go around the speakers will need to be replaced. When you put the storage cover on, it comes right around here and wraps around and covers all of this, but it does not cover this, so these are constantly exposed to the elements. That's why you got mildew on there, and no matter how much we've scrubbed on them, we cannot get them clean. So those would need to be replaced, or maybe bleach or something might be able to clean them up. But um, right here we've got storage. We've got storage under there. Storage under here. There's the cord for the shore power. Shore power outlet is right over here on the outside of the boat, right there. So that's a good look at the back of the. The seating area underneath me is here's the engine bay underneath there and here is the uh, the cockpit area see these seats are in really nice shape here's the radio and here's the instrument panel Now I will take you down below, show you what it looks like down there. As my neighbor gets ready to take off in the backyard there. There he goes. Uh, actually, let's jump up here real quick on the front deck. I'll show you what that looks like. You can climb right through here and walk out here. There's the hatch. And up here you have the anchor storage, and there is an anchor uh, in that in that storage compartment. Now we can go down below. Very very clean down here. This kitchen was never used. Uh, the bathroom was never used. Everything else is very very clean. Refrigerator, stove, sink. Microwave, all brand new, never used.
You got lights down here for above the eating area and also lights for the dining area. If I can turn those on. There we go. See all those lights. Over here you got a closet. A little closet area that has a light in it as well. Turn around, here's the bathroom. Bathroom is brand new, never been used. Bathroom has lights also, I'll turn those on. Storage down below and storage up here as well. And finally back here, we have the bunk area. That's about a full size bed and you can see there's four lights back there. More storage here. Storage under this step. Storage here. And here is the control panel. And that's about it. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email.